What's up, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anyone dim your or dim that light, all right? My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all my riding dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. All right, guys. You know the deal. You know I'm loving you. You know I'm thanking you. You know I'm showing so much gratitude to you because when I was going through, you were sending me that positive energy. You were sending me uh, encouraging words. You were sending me emails. You was loving on me. And with that, I am internally grateful. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being my support group, for being my che my cheerleaders, for being that encouraging person in my life. As I encourage, as you encourage me, I encourage you. All right. For those of new subscribers, thank you. I'm well, uh, thank you, welcome, and I am honored uh, to be. Uh, I'm honored. Okay. So for those of you that have not hit the, hit the bell button, I need you to hit the bell, hit the bell because I'm going to start putting out readings just, to, uh, what for all signs, start doing readings, whatever comes out, whatever spirit wants to come out. And it may very well be an answer to whatever question you have. It may be your message. And if you don't, if you have not hit that bell, you won't get the message. Okay. So hit the bell for those of you that has donated, that's doing that energy exchange and consistently, consistently doing that energy change exchange. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you spirit. Thank you. And you shall reap a harvest because this right here is solid ground. You can't go no wrong with it. It's the truth. It's clarity. It's honorable. It's integrity. And with that, it's solid. All right. So, um, thank you for that. For those of you that want to, uh, want to participate, go to the description box. All of the information is there. Now, for those of you that's here for the first time, welcome. Welcome to this channel. Um, on this channel, well, what I'm going to say is go to the description box for all the information about this channel. Email me if you have any questions. Now, just a few things. Not doing any personal readings. Um, all of my readings are general. They may resonate. They may not. They may vice versa. Fit it in where they get in. Um, there's no gender bias here. Everybody is welcome. If you, whatever relationship, whatever type of relationship you in, love is love. There is no bias. Okay. Now, uh, I do want to say this. If you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you, if the energy is clicking right now, go ahead on and subscribe. You ain't got to hear the, hear the message because you already know what the deal is. Your energy is clicking. It's going to be all right. So click the subscribe button if you are vibing. Okay, so with all of that being said, I'm going to get my roll on. And we are honoring the sign of Aquarius. Bam! There it is, Aquarius. Aquarius. If nobody told you that they love you, if nobody told you that you're the bomb diggity, if nobody told you that you're awesome, if nobody told you that you got it going on, if nobody told you that you're fine as wine, let me tell you right now that all of that is the bomb. You are all of that, and that is the bomb diggity you are. Bam, and there it is. All right, Aquarius. So what we got going on today is who's lying to you? Okay. Somebody lying to you in some shape, form, or fashion. It might be a white lie. It might be a big lie. It may be, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
family lie. It may be just a shameful lie. Somebody lying, okay? We're going to find out who lying to you, why they lying, and what they lying about. Now, these people could be a family member. It could be a lover. It could be a co-worker. It could be a friend. It could be a soulmate. It could be a twin flame. It could be a friends with benefits. It could be anybody, somebody, somebody you just ran into or somebody you dating, somebody you just met. But we're going to find out who is lying and spirit is going to bring it down to who is lying. Who is, who do you need to know the most that's lying to you? Okay. All right, so we're going to have that. Uh, we're going to get, the, I made, made these cards for the other reading, but I just add some more things in there. These will be characteristics and add on. This is additional information. Whatever spirit deems to come out that's relevant, we're going we gonna to let it come out. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it on the nose here. We have initials and charms. We have love messages, truth messages. Um, spirit messages, whatever deemed necessary to come out in the love oracle. Okay, Aquarius, who is lying to you? Now, I'm going to be real with you, Aquarius. I had to meditate on this right here. This is why I don't do the cards in front of the camera because I, if, if, I ain't, if, I'm, if it's not clicking, I got to meditate and seek guidance as to because i am not just going to give you fly off the rim and just give you anything i'm going to try to see what the, what what is going on and that indeed is what i did okay so this is who lied to you all right the healer of the ages this is who lied to you okay so what i got from this is this this person is a religious person. What well, first of all, this person, the gist of this, the the whole thing is this the, this person is not being truthful and honest as to who they are. This person can be a family member. This can be a um a coworker, a friend. This can be a lover. Um somebody you're dating. It could be anybody, really. But let me tell you how we're going to break it down so you can try to figure out who this person is. This person is a religious person. Okay, no. Hold on. This person has two different personalities, okay? They have one that they show to the world. And they have one that they show behind closed doors. The one that's behind closed doors, they hide from everybody. The, the person that they are behind closed doors, no one would ever know, will, will ever know or recognize that person in this person. Okay. It has been deeply hidden. What they do behind closed doors is deeply, deeply different. From who they show from the person they show to the world okay this person shows to the world they're very religious or they're spiritual this person um is enlightened um they have a spiritual wisdom they um this person is um uh generous uh this person uh communicate well what they communicate uplifts and um, uh, is always a positive, um, a positive word. Um, this person creates harmony all around. This is a mask. Okay. This is a mask. This person is not who, this is not who the core of who this person is behind closed doors. This, okay. So behind closed doors, this person is, um, lustful this person um is jealous i have a lot of jealousy a lot of hurt a lot of pain this person is hiding a lot of wounds a lot of baggage 
Um, this person is suicidal sometimes. They get this is a dark, dark person. Um, instead of them um, healing their wounds and gaining help, they can't do that because to the world, they are this this spiritual person. To the world, this they uplift others. Other people don't uplift them. Um, to the world, people come to them with their problems. They don't go to other people uh, with their problems. Um, so they don't. They feel like they don't have nobody to try to help them with all of this darkness, all of this pain, all of this suffering that they're going through behind closed doors. Okay. Um, and for the biggest part, for, so why it's saying healer of the ages is because this person, the the healer. Um, who they express to the world and the face that they show to the world, this same person needs healing in a major way. This person is probably getting ready to have a major breakdown, a mental breakdown. A um, uh, This person is uh, getting ready to have a, a, a mental, mental problem, okay? Because behind closed doors... They are carrying huge burdens, huge um, wounds, huge major um, darkness, sexual addiction, drug addiction, um, drinking, um, uh, lying, uh, evil eye, uh, uh, casting spells. It's all kinds of darkness behind closed doors to this, this person. This person feels like other people are able to be free and move on with their life, but they're stuck in this darkness, in this dark place, and they don't know how to get out because they can't ask nobody for help, okay? Um, which is nobody's problem but theirs. They created this mask. Nobody told them to put on this mask, and it's always help available, but you have to put your pride and your pride aside, your ego aside to go get the help that you need. That's nobody else's problem but yours, that you in the situation that you in now there is help available you don't have to tell nobody you can make a call you can go get a therapist you can go get um uh the help that you need and nobody needs to know about that if that's the issue if pride is an issue but you must if this is you you must go out and get the help that you need there's, there is no solution hiding behind closed doors, all this pain and suffering. Life is too short for that. Everybody, uh, everybody has the same opportunity to be free, to be happy, to have joy and have happiness in their life. But you have to do something about it. It is your issue. So you have to work that issue. You got to come out of this pain and this suffering. Nobody else can help you if you don't tell nobody about it. So if you don't tell anybody about it, it's nobody else's problem but yours. So you have to do something about that. Okay. Now, uh, additional. So why they lied? What they lying about? Why they lying? It's because I already told you a little bit about it, but here it is. Behind closed doors, this person been stabbing, stabbed you in the back at some point. This could be in the past. This could be right now. And this, or this could be in the future that this person is getting ready to cause, try to cause you some pain or want to cause you pain behind closed doors. This could be by, um, eject projecting their problems and issues to you. This could be by sending you the evil eye. This could be by wishing your downfall. This could be by sending so much inner, uh, negative energy or draining your uh, energy, uh, in some kind of way, this person is, uh, behind closed doors, uh, uh, stabbing you in the back. Okay. Now, uh, this was, and the reason why is because they full of heart, their heart is broken. Their heart is broken. They're wounded from past, uh, past, past hurt that they haven't dealt with. Um, they look at you as you're free. You're able, you're being truthful and authentic with yourself. You're able to live your life. You're able to make sound decisions. This person feel like they stuck. They can't. What you can do, this person feel like they can't do because they bogged down with a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of pain. Uh, they, this person is living in a box and they can't find their way out. And so they're jealous and projecting their issues off to you because you're free. 
Okay, so um, this is somebody that's close, that close around you, somebody who know you, who knows, um, who knows you, uh, uh, knows uh, your life. Uh, knows what go on with you, someone you've been open and honest and free with, but this person hasn't been open and honest with you, okay? Um, you separated from this person. Some of you guys have separated from this person because you figured out what was going on, um, and at that time, this shocked that person uh, very much so, which sent them spiraling down a road, spiraling down in, dark, in darker, um, in darkness, mentally um you found out about the deception some of you are getting this person is getting ready to attack you shockingly because this person is in a dark place and um it's just going to happen what's in you will come out okay but this person lied and is lying to you behind your back um and that's the reason why it's because it, the root of it is they're jealous they're envious of you um of your life who you are, um, they're jealous. It's jealousy, envy, um, and this person is full of heartbreak, hurt, bitter, pain from past uh, issues, wounds, baggage that they have not healed from, okay? Okay, so let's get some, let's get some um, additional, like I said, additionally, it could be anything. Whatever spirit want to come out to characteristics about this person, uh, what they lying about, whatever it is. So we're going to take these. Okay. All right. So first off, this person um, is uh, could be a secret admirer you friend zoned. You've known this person for weeks. Um, and they're lying about, I'm lying about what I want from you. I want your success, abundance, and money. So this person is envious and jealous of your success, your abundance, and your money. So they lying to be something that they're not behind closed no, but behind closed doors. They're trying to block your success, your abundance, and your money because they're covenant that they want that. They want what you have. Okay, so um, I'm lying about my mental state. I'm not okay. We already addressed that. Okay. Um, they pay they pay tarot readers about you for some aspect. They maybe it's something Facebook. They stalking you on Facebook. They pay tarot readers ab uh, about you because that what information they can get from the tarot readers is how they can try to block your success. Okay, they're watching you. This person is watching you. They paying people. For information, this person is obsessed with you. They're riding by your house because they want what you have. They want what you have. Okay, so a little bit, uh, they think that you're very beautiful. Okay, so this person could be somebody that wants you. Not only do they want your excess abundance and money, they want you. They want your life. They want, a, they want you. Um, only want sex. This person want to have sex with you. Wants a family with you. Wants to get you pregnant. They think that you fine. Or they could be fine. This person sees you as the one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a twist. How the hell are you going to see somebody as the one. And you back. And you and you causing all this stuff behind the scenes. You friend zone this person. So this person thinks that you're the one. You friend zoned them, so they want your abundant success. And since they can't be with you, they're trying to sabotage you behind closed doors is what this is about. They are good looking. This person is could be good looking, okay? They secretly in love with you, this person. A friend of the family. It could be a friend of the family. So like I said, it could be a friend or it could be a family member, but this says a friend of the family, all right? Why do this car keep coming out? Lesbian. Okay, so it could be a woman. If you're a female, this could be a woman that wants you. Okay, that this woman wants you and secretly admires you. You friend zone this person. Okay, um, yo wants to be more than what you want with this person. Okay, um, and you friend zone this person. So whoever you friend zoned. 
This person is going back behind your back to try to sabotage you because you don't want them. Okay. A, um, a masculine energy, a masculine energy. Okay. It could be a man or a woman, someone who has masculine energy. This is a narcissist. Somebody is a narcissist that's doing this. Like jealous and envious of you. That's the root. This is the root of it. Okay. For months. Okay. You've known this person for months. A no good ex that want to play games. That This person may have a few extra pounds. Okay. So those are the characteristics. Okay. And this is some characteristics, some things that's going on. And what could this be? surrounding this person why they lying to you is they they want you and you friend zone this person and uh or you show no interest or you rejected this person this could be a a man and a man a woman and a woman um this could be a man and a woman a woman and a man it could be either or but somebody friend zoned someone Somebody wants something more with them, but because they can't have them, they're sabotaging their success, their abundance, and their money because go behind closed doors because this person has rejected them, don't want them, and this person is envious and jealous of whoever you're around, whoever you're giving your time to, what they're uh they are stalking you, watching you, want riding by your house, paying terror readers. Um, uh, looking at your Facebook, trying to figure out who you see and what you're doing, what's, what it's all about. Okay. This person has mental issues. Okay. That they need to address. All right, here we go. This person, I love you. That's what they want you to know. They love you. You don't, you don't want me, but I love you. Okay. All right, fearless. This person is fearless. They think that you're, no, this person thinks that you're fearless, that you could just go out and do anything. The world is your oyster and they're jealous of that. They see you. They see, they see, they see how positive they have your eye. They have that eye on you. They have, they, they see your light, your abundance. They want a family with you. This is children. Um, never, never give up. They will never give up. They don't want, they don't, they will never give up. They're going to keep trying. Namaste. Me versus me. They're fighting against themselves. Um, should they or should they not pursue you? Okay. Um, find joy in the journey. They're trying to find joy in this journey. They're very protective. Here's a gun. They're very protective over you and the connection. They think that you're the one and they think that anybody that comes, they, they scare somebody going to come along and steer and steal you away. Um, the angels is protecting you. So you don't have to worry about it. The angels are protecting you and, um, your decision, whatever decision you made family. Okay. They want a family with you. That's significant. It, you know, come out twice. They think that you have a warrior spirit, but they want to fight for this relationship and they wish that you will fight for it with them. Um, something significant happening in the fall. Okay. Um, you have the butterfly, which is a uh, transformation. They want to the keep to your heart desperately searching for the key to your heart because if they can get the key to your heart then they can have you all right um this here they want to give you their heart okay um and we have believe they want you to believe in the relationship okay all right so we have s we have u we have n we have w we have n we have j we have x we have z we have you, and that X could be your X, okay? We have J, we have G, all right? All right, so here we go. Um, I, had, I had so much riding on us being together. Now I am so disappointed and hurt over this. So this person is had so much riding on thinking that you and them were going to be together when you rejected them or you separated yourself from whatever relationship this was, this sit this person down a spiring road of darkness, um, disappointment, hurt, bitterness, pain. So this is where this, 
uh, sabotage, want to go behind closed doors and sabotage you. But remember that this person, you will never know. Because on the outside, this person is spiritual, loving, kind, um, spreading the word of the gospel or spreading positive vibes to everything. But behind closed doors, behind closed doors, and on the outside, this person is, is acting like they really care about you, that you're the best, you're the best friend, you're the best lover. They love you so much. But just like here, I love you. Right here, the first thing came out, I love you. But you can't love somebody in behind closed doors sabotaging. That's not love. When you love somebody, you freely can let them go. And if they come back, then they're yours. That's real love. Okay? Not sabotage. Hate. Vengefulness. That's not. What are you doing? I want to know. So this person is, that's why this person is watching you. That's why this person is stalking you. That's why this person is riding by your house. It's because they want to know what you're doing. They want to know who you're doing with it, who you're doing with and why, you know, what's going on with you. Okay. Obsession. I hope you are safe. I think about you morning, noon, and night. So dang beautiful. So this energy here, it really, you know, uh, this is just a smoke screen of uh, obsession. They think of you morning, noon, and night. Well, don't they got a job? Don't they got things that they need to be worried about than thinking about you? So this is a smoke screen of obsession that they need to uh, work on their own issues and get their own self together because uh, focusing on you morning, noon, and night means that a lot of things in their life is not being addressed and they're not able to heal and focus on themselves because they're so much focusing on you. So this is a smoke screen. It ain't cute. All right, so... All right, the matter of the heart, okay, is your love oracle. Okay, there is more going on that meets the eye. Ain't that what I just said? The matter, the, the root of the issue of the matter of the, the heart of the matter is envious, jealousy, resentment, wounds, pain, past hurts, baggage, projection, Evil lie, that's the root of the issue. Conflict. Conflicted with yourself, not dealing with your own issues so you could be free like everybody else. Not, not willing to do your work and do, a, do what is required for you to be blessed, for you to can have your own blessings and your own happiness and your own joy. You could depend on your own self. You don't have to look at other people and wish and hope and pray you had their life. You can have your own happiness within you. Everybody, everybody has that opportunity. What you going to do with your opportunity? Waste your time thinking about somebody morning, noon, and night? Wasting precious time when you could be focusing on yourself, dealing with your own issues so you could be free, so you could be happy, so you can have a life. That's abundant, that has, that's full of success, joy, and happiness. But you'll never get that when you focus on somebody else, sabotaging somebody else, wishing and hoping and projecting a negative energy and evil eye on somebody else. You'll never have, that'll never happen for you because you shall reap what you sow. What you put out to somebody else that's negative, negative is going to come back to you. And every time you do that, you're creating karma for yourself. That, that is, that is the bottom line. So if this is you, you need to stop it. And for those of you that it's not, you need to be aware that somebody is trying to sabotage you and you need to cover yourself. You don't need to be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Like I've already told you guys, nobody can stop or block your success. You just need to be aware of that's what's going on so you can protect your energy. Stop giving your energy out to people who don't deserve it, who's trying to make a fool out of you, who's trying to sabotage you, trying to block you and stop you. You need to use your intuition to know who these people are so you can re remove yourself 
separate yourself. And once you separate yourself, that's it. Move forward with your life and don't look back. All right. Aquarius, that has been your reading. I hope you got some, got some clarity in this reading. I hope you uh, got some understanding. If you did, hit the comments. Let me know. I read all the comments. I read all the stories. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Share, share, share. Subscribe. Social media. I've been absent on social media, but your girl is getting ready to come back. All right? So that means Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hit the description box. All of that information is down there. All right? So what I want to say, hey, I want to tell you guys that COVID is raging high. I need you to be careful. Make a commitment to wear your mask. Make a commitment to social distance. Be safe. Keep your family safe. Take care of yourself. All right? Indeed, Black Lives Matter. Indeed, your life matters. Okay? And I'm sending love and I'm sending healing your way. And Trinity is 